let's uh, go for traps. Okay, trapezoid, uh, trapezius muscle. Okay, <laughs> now uh, kind of you you kind of get an idea about this. It's a trapezius muscle, right? It's the trapezium. Okay, we know the trapezium shape. Okay, and how how the trapezium shape looks like. It uh it looks like this. It uh it looks like this. Okay, a trapezium shape. Now, uh, this is also trapezium. Okay, so there there could be like different variations, but um, yeah, this is called a trapezium shape. Okay, so trapezius, right? That's a muscle, and kind of follows the same thing. So let's go over and see uh you know how uh, how this muscle looks like. It looks like this. Okay, it's at the back, by the way. Okay, it's your neck. It's one of the main parts of your neck muscle because of this we can do like all the functions and rotate the neck and you can swing it around, right? And bend the neck. Okay, and so on and so on. So it looks like this. Uh, so let's go and start with the two D view of this muscle. Okay. Uh, all right. Now, how do we how do we do this? How how do we build this muscle? So I'm just gonna make it a little transparent. Put a layer, and there we go. So it starts from the base of your neck, okay? Now it goes to this connection right here, okay? In the middle, like it basically attaches to your spine of the scapula, okay? Right here. It goes all the way to the spine of scapula, so it follows the whole rhythm, okay? It comes like this. And there's a tendinous separation right here, okay? Tendinous separation, which means this part right here, that would be a tendon. And then from here, it attaches to your spine, okay? So that part right here. Uh, obviously, it's gonna attach to the spine with the tendon, right? So there will be a tendon that uh, that will be right here as well. I'll, I'll highlight the tendons in the blue so you see them a little bit more clearly, okay? So the tendons are the blue parts, okay? All right, right here. Obviously, uh, just like every muscle would do, it would attach to a bone, it would have a tendon. So it would have a tendon across here as well, right here. And uh, would have the tendon over here, okay, right there. Now, uh, once you know the shape, once you have done the shape, now there's also a very important thing in the middle of the, of the spine, right, <laughs> right here. So uh, you see that we have this, uh, cervical vertebrae, that's like seven in number. These vertebrae in here and the top of the spine is called cervical again, if you don't remember. And these are seven in number. So the seventh cervical vertebrae is visible, right, <laughs> over the body. So basically what you do, you can make a circle, okay, because it looks like a bump on the body. And then, you know, you can do this. You can actually, you have to separate it out through a diamond shape, okay, like that. Uh, obviously, on the other side too, it's going to be like this. So uh, that is what we know. Then the seven cervical vertebrae ends, and the uh, the thoracic region starts. Okay, this region starts. This one starts. Okay. Uh, yeah, I know a little bit of uh, things here and there. Like this muscle is all over the place <laughs> because it attaches your uh, your skull to your spine of scapula all the way to the spine, okay? Like the actual spinal cord. And then it has this like diamond shape cut out in the middle, okay? Uh, but what you can do easily to, to do it, right? What you can do is just make a cutout on your seven cervical vertebrae and then um, you can do this. Now, because these are just muscle, um, obviously they have this like their own volumes on top of them. Okay, so this volume just uh, this volume is bigger, right? So it like separates out a little bit more. Okay, and uh, yeah, that's the that's the traps. Now uh, we can turn this into a front. Uh, we can also see this from the front view. So this is uh, the actual drawing from the first week where we did the chest part. And look right here. This is how the traps would come in from the front and attaches to half of your collarbone. Okay, you remember you remember this uh, this thing here. Uh, I'm not sure if you if you guys remember. There's a separation right here. It's a, it's a triangular separation. Yeah, it's the intraclavicular fascia. Fascia just uh, basically means, guys, it's a gap. Okay, now it's just covered by the skin. There's like no tendon <clears throat> or nothing like that. It's just a there's a gap between the muscles, okay? This is called fascia. And that's the different kind of fascia. This one is called intraclavicular fascia. Uh, and if you remember from the anatomy names, clavicle means the collarbone, okay? So intraclavicular fascia, that's what the name is. I'm just gonna write it here. 
it's up to you if you want to remember this. It's called infraclavicular fascia. Okay. There's different type of fascia all over the body. This one is intraclavicular. All right, right there. So uh, it would it would come again okay, would just attach near to the intraclavicular fascia in the in the front right here. Okay. Uh, don't watch over the deltoids. Um, we'll just do the deltoid afterwards. Okay. Okay. So uh, this is how how the traps look like. Now, if you see from between a skinnier person, the the rhythm changes. Okay. So the rhythm is this like, like that. Okay. And in the muscular person, the rhythm is like this. Okay. So uh, that's the development of the muscle, the development of the overall muscle. So here in the front view, by the way, it's uh, gonna keep it here. Here in the front view, the muscle comes like this, and it is coming out like this. But this is very, very thin. You know, it's almost like nothing at all. So it's just attaching there. Obviously, it's gonna attach like no matter what if you're muscular or not. But in the muscular people, this parts develop. You know, and create like this kind of bump to it. All right. So that's the front view, also, guys. Um, here's a three quarters view. See, it's almost like, um, yeah, so this is how it's coming up. And here I'm making a little bit more muscular neck. So just to explain to you guys better, um, it's going to wrap around like this. See how it's like wrapping around. It's going to come to this uh, section of the spine of the scapula attached right here. It would come up to the clavicle. And uh, and that's, that's it, right? That's it for the muscle. Okay, like this. You see, like this is uh this is the front view, so obviously it's covered by like the different muscles here. So you don't see like this under under part there. Okay. Um. All right. So I have a few views of this. Um. So here, uh. So here's definitely what you can see this this muscle right here. See right there. Um. So I'll I'll try to draw this again for you. So that's the base of the skull right there. Let's uh let's try to go over. Let's try to go over this. So I'm just gonna make it transparent. Uh, it's gonna come from the base of the neck. Okay, all the way. Now, if you're making a muscular neck, you can give that bump. Or if you're making an underdeveloped neck, well, just like us, <laughs> so you can just like make it a subtle rhythm like this. Okay, but you're gonna come here, attach your spine of the scapula. Remember that it's attached to the spine of the scapula, not the humerus at all. Humerus is your arm bone, okay? And there's a gap again, remember, okay? So it's attaching to your spine of the scapula. Follow all the way, okay? Follow all the way to the spine of the scapula. Here you can uh, you can give a tendon, tendonous approach right here, okay? And then you can uh, just wrap around this muscle over the, over the spine, okay? Uh, by the way, it goes to the thoracic T7. Remember, we just uh, talked about those vertebrae and how to name them. Uh, so, and if, if you forget about it, I'll just remind you again. We have seven in here. We have 12 in here. We have five in here. Okay. The so seven, 12, five, you want to point out like a particular vertebrae, for example, uh, thoracic seven, just like I'm saying T7. So the T7 would be a vertebrae in the thoracic region because it's T7, okay? Um, all right, so it, it goes till the T7, okay? Like all the tendons and everything, it goes like the, till the T7 vertebrae, okay? So here you can say that's the T7, okay? T7. Um, all right, and then uh, you can do the same on the other side as well, okay? Follow till the spinal scapula, follow the rhythm, okay? And then from underneath, because there's a tendonous gap in here, you can uh, make it to the spine, okay? And then the long tendons that's connecting to the to the trapez, uh, to the spinal cord, right? In the middle, obviously there will be a gap, right? So the muscle is not covering up like this. Uh, you can say them as like two muscles, but they are very symmetrical, okay? Torso muscles are symmetrical, by the way. The arm muscles or the leg muscles that we're gonna do, they will be unsymmetrical, non-symmetrical, okay? So obviously everything in the middle, that would be the tendon as well. Uh, all right, Fo follow this. Now, only one thing remaining, that's a diamond cutout in the middle. So seven cervical vertebrae, how to find it? Well, that's when the rhythm changes, okay? So seven vertebrae in here, thoracic, that would change the rhythm. So from the inside to the outside. And it's easy to find out right here. Uh, so you can just cut out like a diamond shape you know, from, from here. Like this. And that, would, that little circle represents the seven cervical vertebrae like this. 
Uh, and there we go. We have a uh, we have our trap trap muscle. Okay. It looks like it will look like this once you render it out. Okay. And you can uh, you can see this one. 